Hey, this is JKBPZ28 <clears throat> from South Mississippi Gamers. Uh, <clears throat> what I have here is an update, a, a long overdue update, on my uh, custom Wazdaka Gutsmech HQ for my Warbikers. Uh, they didn't really have any models on uh, <clears throat> Games Workshop, so I kind of made my own going by the, the picture that's in the the orc codex uh so you know uh my last video i posted i showed basically it was semi put together and i was just showing you where i was at on it but <clears throat> uh lately i'd been doing custom work for uh hinkle putting together some uh land raiders for him so i hadn't had time to paint anything uh right now yeah, parts are on back order for some of them, so I cleared off my table and decided to finally finish one of these guys out. Uh, so what I did was, is I bought a Orc War Biker. I believe he was a biker knob off of eBay, and I uh, took bits and started putting him together. Uh, the front cannon right there is, I believe. One of the up out of the upgrade pack that you can buy from um, Games Workshop when you uh, <clears throat> excuse me when they used to sell the upgrade pack for the uh, guy what part was that I believe it was when you bought the Tau big can and you got a mixture of some other little parts too well, I think that was one of them if I remember correctly. And I made that into, you know, the main gun and put some bits on it to make it look pretty good. Uh, same thing with that little brace that's holding it up. That was just some random orc bit. Uh, I glued the scope on there just because I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, come on, focus in. Also, that little, well, if it never focus. Let me see if I can... There we go. That little pouch, that's uh, another just bit I threw on there just to kind of fill up a spot. <clears throat> for his custom, let me set this down for a second. For his custom power claw, <clears throat> I took the, the grab a bits from the, I think it was the, uh, the battle wagon. And kind of fashioned them into him a cool little claw. And I uh, took the exhaust bits to just you know you gotta orcify stuff out uh which it worked pretty good i mean i had to had to slice his hand off and use another little bit to mount it on there let me get it to focus again as you can see right there uh <clears throat> for his little banner that was simply a toothpick and some bits from the DACA jets that I had left over. I also glued on a little pack of stick bombs just because, you know, look pretty cool for orcs. I have no idea where I got those little orc skulls from, but it also works out because I believe in Waz DACA's flavor. You know, he has three skulls. I forget the reason why, but they're there. Uh, overall, you know, it was a... Oh, sorry. The back end, his uh, <laughs> rocket booster is actually a hacked up uh, bomb from one of the uh, bomber jets from the orcs. Uh, what I had to do was basically cut the nose off of one and trim it up. And it took a good bit of work to get it to actually mount right. But uh, once, once I got it trimmed up, it sat on there pretty good and it looked... <clears throat> look pretty nice uh, coming out of the back end is simply cotton that I painted up uh, to make it look like you know he's giving it a go and I used a piece of a towel uh, flyer to give him that willy look and also make him extremely secure I mean he is he is on there uh, I had to actually drill out the bottom of the bike to get that to fit in there but the way it you know the way it sits in there it is extremely secure to the base which I uh, really, really like, uh, but overall, I'm real, I'm real happy with the way it came out. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, 
if there was something I could have changed, it'd probably been his head. I didn't think about it when I was putting him together. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure I could rip that head off and put a different one on. You know, the head's nothing special. It's just a standard little head, but, you know, he's giving it gas and, you know, looking at his claw ready to knock somebody's head off. So I like that a good bit. Uh, while we're here, this is the, the gun line, the Aegis defense line that I'd picked up. Uh, I did a video on, so if you want to know all the details on it, you can go there and look at that. Uh, this is very much a work in progress. I've just got a little bit of the, the base. I got the base coat on all of it and I've started doing detail work. Uh, you know, obviously on all this red, I'm going to, you know, scar it up a little bit. You know, it's got to look orky. Uh, the gun, I'm going to do some, uh, some better detailing on. Uh, I really like how the, uh, how it came out, you know, parts wise from the uh the kit the guy made yeah it looks real good uh here's some of the wall pieces and these are just based you know i just got the base cut on them and silver and i've got to put a good bit of red on them and scar them up but you know overall it looks really really good you know here's the pieces just like I mean, it has all the same pieces just like a normal aegis defense line it's just it looks really orky. Uh, lastly, I've actually got a couple of my orcs. When I say a couple, I literally mean a couple of my orc uh, boys and shooters painted. But this is kind of the look I think I'm going to go with. Uh, we're evil sons, so I think I'm going to stick to having a red shirt or red pants on them. A uh, good bit of brown, but they're coming out pretty good. I really like the way they uh, they look with the rest of the army. Focus in. Yep, there we go. And, yeah, I got some paint on my fingers. Here pretty soon we should have a video up uh, going over the custom work I did for Hinkle's uh, Land Raiders, which was a pretty good bit of work. Uh, but that's it. Just wanted to drop a quick video. Uh, to let you know that I, I am still alive and still trying to do work. <laughs> but uh, see y'all in the next video.